Hi, it's Nick Jervis from Samson Consulting, back with the second of my video series, Law Firm Marketing Mistakes. This one's entitled, Call Me Maybe, Charlie Ray Jepsen. I brought myself up to date from the first video with a more modern reference. Um, and what we're talking about here is how you get your prospect from a cold visitor to giving you their contact details. One of the most important things your website does for you, and the reason I'm focusing first on websites is because they are your 24-7, 365 or 366 marketing asset and they're an easy life client attraction asset above all everything else because people go looking for a solicitor they find you and if you do the things right that I'm sharing with you fix the problems um, then they make contact with you and it is that easy so let's think about your prospects journey um, they've got an issue they've got a legal problem or they've got up something that they're, they're excited about buying a house um, or a problem they need solved um, they might not use solicitors frequently or at all. It might be their first time. So there's trepidation there. There's some fear, uh, excitement about what they're doing and, and fixing a problem is good. Um, and your job on your website with your website content is to calm them down, reassure them, give them the confidence to, to show that you're the expert and to win their trust. And if you do that, if you do that, you're going to win the instruction. You're going to win the inquiry and then it's up to you to convert them with what I call my meaningful conversation. Um, you'll win the instruction unless you do this. You just put a massive button there that says request a callback or even worse says book a consultation. Is there anything more fearful than that? Sounds horrible. Who do you consult with? Normally it's a medical issue. It's not very pleasant. Um, dentist, doctor. So, and I see consultation a lot. What you're trying to do is get someone to contact you and you want to keep the dialogue going. Um, on my mock site, um, we've got a lovely big get in touch button. Um, and we just told them who we are and what we do, not very well. Um, so that is a major problem. If you're just at the moment using call to action buttons, request call back, submit inquiry, make an inquiry, book a consultation, um, then you will be losing leads badly. And I want to show you how to fix those leads. You've got to talk to your solution as a human being. Carry on the dialogue that you've been having in the content to this point. Um, take away their fears. Tell them they're not going to be sold to if that's one of their fears or it's not going to cost them a fortune to pick up the phone and speak with you. Um, and you will get more inquiries. It is that simple. And you just have to explain to them what they need to do next and talk to them as you have been doing all the way through until that button point. No button. Can't do that. You need a talking call to action. Um, and in the next video in the series number three, I'm going to share with you what a talking call to action is. All you do to me is talk, talk. See you then.